and All Angels Episcopal Church welcomes you to our annual children's Christmas pageant. This year, due to COVID-19, we have been forced to do a virtual production. The play, of course, is about the birth of Christ, but with the twist. It is an adaptation of a play written by Serena George and Brianna Porter when they were in high school. It is called Christmas is Not About Gifts, The Real Meaning of Christmas. This production was made possible by the participation of St. Michael's parents, Father Winston, and organist Mary Lou Ran. To them, we say thank you and Merry Christmas. Hey, what is that? Oh, this is the nativity scene. It shows when Jesus was a baby. This is why we celebrate Christmas. What? I thought Christmas was about present. No. <laughs> Come sit. Let me tell you a story. Um, a long time ago, there was a man named Joseph. Hey, that's my name! Yes, I know. Let me finish. There was a man named Joseph and a young girl named Mary, and they were going to have a baby. So, they were married? No, no, they, they were going to get married. Uh-oh! I thought you... You were supposed to be married before having a baby. Yes, but this was no ordinary pregnancy because Mary was still a virgin. Huh? That, Mom, that's impossible. Well, that's why Christmas is so special, Joseph, because Mary's conception was not by any man. Huh? I should help tell the story. Let's begin with my visit to Mary. I visited Mary one night and told her that she had found favor with God. She was chosen to bring the Son of God into the world through childbirth by the Holy Spirit. Of course, she was stunned, but humbly accepted whatever role God had for her. Now Joseph was a different matter. He was very upset because he had not married Mary and was afraid of the criticism they would face because no one would believe the Holy Spirit story. But I convinced him that this was the will of God, so he finally accepted it. You sound like this was your all your idea. Shush. Anyways, after this, Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem for the census ordered by Caesar. It was a long and hard journey. They were so relieved to arrive in Bethlehem, but their troubles weren't over. What now? I said shush. As I was saying, all the inns were full. They had nowhere to stay. Luckily, a kind innkeeper, seeing Mary's condition, took pity on them and offered them the manger. They were grateful to have Two, some shelter, three, and would you know, before they knew it, Mary was in labor. Sweet little Jesus boy, they made you be born. Was 
animals. Who delivered the baby? Joseph. Wow, he was really committed to her. He sure was. I think I would have passed out. Of course, I'll name him Jesus, just like Angel Gabriel said. they gave him. Gold, frankincense, and even some myrrh. We'll, we'll have to hide it in this rough neighborhood. Oh, don't worry. Don't don't you know the Lord is with us? Anything that will happen is a part of the Lord's plan. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our son and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you and this child that you've delivered will soon deliver you. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, and the dead will live again. The lame will leave, the sons will speak, the praises of the land. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nation? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's purchase? And this sleeping child you're holding is a grave. I am. You're right. I mean, a star led the wise men, wise men here to him in this manger. They called him a king. Angels directed shepherds to here too. They called him a savior. We don't even need a light. The star is so bright. We really are a part of a bigger plan. Look, another guest. Another lullaby. This truly is an amazing night. I will never forget this. Neither will I. special night. I will never forget it. Neither will I. So what do you think? Joseph? 
Wow, Christmas is that wow, that's the most amazing story I've ever heard. Chris, there's a lot more to Christmas than presents.